So I was just sailing around and I found the most amazing silver ammo and repair kit farm. Maybe in the game, I don't know, maybe there's some better locations, but this location is repeatably farmable. You can just do this over and over and over again without ever stopping. The only thing that would like ruin it is if other players do the same alongside you. Thanks to Ubisoft for providing me with access to this game. Now, before we start, I want to show you what money count I have right now. So this is 90,190, right? We can increase this really quickly. Our cargo hold is mostly empty as well. We're going to be getting a bunch of stuff from shipwrecks, right? Of course, you're going to require a good crowbar. So make sure you have built a good crowbar tool from the carpenter at the den. And you're going to go ahead and do this mini game. Unlock these things. You will get silver. You will get flawed materials, which you can actually turn into ammunition as well as repair kits. You can get repair kits from these two. And you also get a couple commodities if you're lucky and sometimes there are some good commodities that you can go ahead and sell later on so you're actually getting a bunch of different stuff and you also get the straight up silver from opening each of these different things like and a lot of the time you'll be getting between 300 to 500 silver for each one of these that you open now there are about 11 shipwrecks here and they're all in a nice little loop i will show you on the map in a bit and the locations right now i'm showing you the order that i'm finding them in and you basically kind of loop around the way that i'm doing this is so that by by the time you get to the very first one again, it's actually respawned and ready for you to harvest again. So you can essentially just keep doing this thing in an entire circle, harvesting and like looting all of these different things with the crowbar until you your cargo hold is full, until you have like done. You can do this for like an hour, maybe get like almost like 70 to 80,000 silver in an hour. Of course, this is counting. In fact, if you sell the commodities, you can probably even get a bit more depending on the commodities. But there's a lot of stuff to be made here. And you can even loot this tree, which I did. So I wasted a little bit of time doing that. But you can keep going here along this route. And, you know, right here, this is the second lost one. You'll see there's another one up here. Like, look at them. There's all these in this one little area. It's like the coolest place ever. I was like sailing up here and I couldn't believe it, right? And in those four minutes, we made about just under 4,000 silver. Basically a thousand silver per minute, you know, as fast as you can sail essentially. And we're using the brigantine. So we go pretty quick and you can see here as we go up to the, the starting ship again, you'll see that we can force open it again. So the whole thing is reset and you can just repeat the cycle going in circles. So if I go ahead and I open up the map and we look at St. Anne, we're going to go northeast up until the very big piece of land that you'll encounter over here. And you can see this is the location where we're in. You'll see there's like a, you know, a large kind of like strip of land. And if I zoom in all the way, you can see all these little purple icons are actually the shipwrecks, right? So we start here and then we go down to this one and then we go down to this one and down to this one, down to this one down to this one and then I actually just sail further down to these two over here so get both of these and then you're going to sail up north along the coast you're going to grab this one and you're going to grab this one and then you're going to return to the very first one again and once you've done that and you actually want to finish you can go north to a outpost that is so close by that you can drop off your cargo replenish your stuff and you know come back here with an empty cargo and just keep looting for as long as you feel like grinding for and that's a great way to get a ton of silver by just farming the this. And if we go ahead and we sail to this outpost and we go ahead and access the cache over here, I actually think you can hold C, the embark key, to get to this menu, but you can see this is all the resources that we got in, you know, just like four minutes of, you know, just doing a bunch of this. So you can get a ton of this stuff for, you know, doing this for a lot longer. You can get a ton of it. It's crazy. It's also a great way to farm ammunition and repair kits. You can get the ammo from the blacksmith and you can make repair kits at the carpenter. So if we speak to the blacksmith over here and we go craft new items and we go to the final one in the section here, of course you will have to unlock the blueprints for some of these, but you can see here, you can craft these things here with those flawed materials that you found, like the rusty nails, broken plank, torn sail, and you can make a ton of ammunition. So if you wanna farm like ammo, you're going to have so much of it that you're never going to need to buy like a cannonballs or anything ever again. And you can do this exact same process with buying repair kits while crafting repair kits with those same materials from the carpenter too. So I grinded this for a little bit more. I went like about half an hour of doing this and you can see I've made it up to like 129,000, you know, quite easily. It was, it literally, it's a breeze. You don't even have to think when you're doing it. Just sail around and just boom, 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 boom. I won't ever need silver again, to be honest. I hope you guys found this helpful and thank you so much for watching. Good luck grinding.